Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I have a couple of uh, studies that I want to share with you that came out yesterday. Very important, smoking gun type stuff. Um, before I do that, a quick follow-up to um, the high radiation in Tucson. We suspected that these yellow skies could be an indication of um, high radiation levels, and I went back to check the EPA graphs for um, the, the days following when the yellow sky video was made and uh, it, it uh, did indicate that the levels were quite high. Um, they were about 300 and again 300 is the level the EPA states um, where you, ne you need to take uh, emergency uh, radioactive protection measures. Uh, Phoenix is even higher and, and going through these graphs, I'll put a link at the bottom so you can check your city. There are actually quite a few of them that showed high readings um, over the last several days. And I looked at a rainfall map, a precipitation map, and you can see why um, we've had a lot of rain. This is what we've had in the last week. So the higher levels may be corresponding to this amount of precipitation. Um, also, uh, the yellow rain or yellow skies, uh, there was a video that came out yesterday, I believe, um, of the Fukushima reactors uh, from a different angle. And there's a video on any news that you can watch. But basically, uh, there's huge piles of probably uranium or plutonium next to the reactors and you know the stuff got blown all over up into the air and we were told that plutonium would end up um, falling into the ocean before it got anywhere near us that it was too heavy of a particle to be able to stay up in the jet stream and uh, one of these studies that came out yesterday um, definitely disproves that. This is from a researcher at Massachusetts Polytech and what he found is that plutonium actually landed as far away as Boston, Massachusetts. So um, it's 6,722 miles between Fukushima and Boston. And again, this is early research. Um, he's, he's putting those numbers out there to, um, to put people on alert. And there's going to be more studies and more follow-up, and, and we're probably going to see this in many other areas, too. There's no way to tell, though, until a, a full-scale radioact radioactive survey has been done of, of all of our soil and water throughout the entire country. So um, there was another study that also came out from the same researcher um, saying that uh, in various cesium samples from around the country, he's detecting very high levels, actually over 10,000% um, higher than what was found by uh, UC Berkeley. So, you know, there, there's a lot of variables in, in this forecast of where this stuff landed, and... Um, and again, you know, the treatment is basically going to be the same, but what we have to do is, is get the EPA to start, um, you know, advising us and, and informing us and informing the 90% of, of the population that has no idea that this is going on, that there's things that they can do to, to minimize their exposure. And, and the biggest one is weather and rain. And, and you know, lately I've been seeing kids running cross country after school you know, they're running in shorts, it's drizzling, they have no, no type of protection over their mouth, they're taking in more air because they're exercising. Anyone who's exercising outside right now should be doing so with a mask on. And I don't mean a, a, um, like a respirator mask, but one of those paper masks, I believe it's a, a 95 or a 93 grade, you can get them at the hardware store. You know, it doesn't keep out all the particles, but it does eliminate some of them. And it's better than just breathing the, the straight up air, especially when we know that, that plutonium has flown as, as far away as Boston. I'll put links to both of these studies down at the bottom, but I think 
this would be an excellent opportunity if you haven't talked to your friends or neighbors or coworkers yet uh, of bringing this information up to them so that they're aware of it and they start thinking about it. Uh, there's a few people too that I want to share their names with you if you're looking for expert opinions. These are the people that you want to go to. Arnie Gunderson, and I'm putting him at the top of the list. When you go to his website, please look at who he is, um, the kind of education that this man has had, and the experience that he's had, and the positions that he's held uh, makes him a very treasured resource for information about Fukushima. Uh, another person, uh, Professor Christopher Busby, he was uh, a, a leading researcher in Chernobyl. He's one of the world's leading uh, authorities on the um, effects of health from radiation. And um, this particular video talks about what cesium does to children's hearts. And we know now from this study that it is over here in, in huge quantities based on the soil testing that came out yesterday. Another person, Helen Caldicott, um, a huge environmentalist, very well respected. Uh, she is a scientist. She's an MD. She taught at Harvard. I would watch all of her videos, um, all of these people's videos. And the last one is Lauren Murray, and, and she's a, a, a very uh, well-known and well-respected data researcher. And if you have... Uh, an hour to watch these videos about the um, data analysis that she's done from the the EPA levels and how they relate to the increase in mortality all over the United States. It, it's just it's utterly disturbing, um, and and ninety percent of the population, if not more, have no idea that this is going on. So I'm going to put a link to the EPA graphs at the bottom. Look up your city see what was going on in the last couple of days, use the, the studies that came out as a, a way to, uh, to talk to people about this issue. And um, I'm also going to include a link to where you can contact the EPA about the levels in your area, ask them what they're doing, what they intend to do, and uh, we'll just keep spreading the word. Boston. Be safe.